Namaste beautiful yogis, welcome to Ali Kamenova Yoga, I'm Ali and today we're doing freedom flow, preparing for tomorrow's holiday, whether you're celebrating or not. Let's focus on something really positive, which is the freedom in our own hearts, the freedom that our soul is entitled to. Are you ready to flow with strength and ease? of the mat, roll the shoulders back and down, open the chest and lift through the crown of the head. Deepening the breath, feeling the opening of the chest through the back, through the front. Drawing the belly in. Inhale the hands over the head. Lift up. Ground through your feet. Pressing into all four corners of each foot. Find a neutral alignment for your spine. So engaging the core, engaging the belly and finding the best alignment, the strongest alignment for your spine which for me is a slight tuck and I've been doing it for so long that now I find myself in a neutral alignment when I stand and reaching over to one side look up coming back up opposite side look up and feel your belly engaging even though we're bending here Feel your posture, feel the strength in your standing. Back to center, exhale the hands in prayer over the heart. Anjali Mudra. Inhale, reach over the head, exhale over the heart. Inhale, reaching over the head, exhale over the heart. This time we're gonna inhale, reach up, and exhale, dive. Keep your back straight, lower down. Inhale, look ahead of you, and step back in plank. Press the heels away from you, pull the belly in. lower onto your belly inhale and bring your hands and feet off the floor in a back extension exhale downward facing dog drawing the belly in lifting the tailbone high And you can walk in place here, side to side. Shifting the hips side to side. Feeling the pose. Feeling the back. Inhale the right leg up. Step it through, warrior one. Exhale the hands behind, interlacing the fingers, open the chest, look up. Shift into warrior three. Once you're here, level the hips, flex the left foot. Coming up to standing, release your clasp, grab your knee and reach with the left hand behind you, twisting, right hand to left knee. And shift back in warrior three, you can clasp or reach to the sides, whatever suits you. And again, coming up, twist, 
focus on your balance, which means on your mind being present. And again. And clasp behind and step all the way back into warrior one and open the chest. Exhale, lower down, plank to chaturanga, to up, forward facing dog, to down dog. Inhale the left leg up, step it through, warrior one. Square the hips forward, exhale the hands behind, the back heel is directed down. Open the chest, lift through the heart, keep a mild bend in the right knee. and shift into warrior three level the hips smile left hand to right knee look behind you and one more time warrior three Warrior three. Twist, and we're going to step all the way back into Warrior one. Open the chest. And exhale down plank. Chaturanga. Upward dog. Chaturanga. Downward dog. Spread the fingers wide open and align your shoulder blades properly. Widen the back. Move the shoulders away from the ears. Inhale the right leg up. Step it through. Warrior two. Sink a little deeper. Reverse the warrior. Side angle. Keep opening the left hip. Reach ahead of you and try to bring the left rib cage above the right. Left shoulder above the right shoulder. Exhale, both hands down, turn the back heel up towards the ceiling. Take a little knee over the triceps and get a push up, lift, push up, lift, push up, lift. Step it back, Chaturanga, up dog, Chaturanga, downward facing dog. Inhale, 
inhale the left leg up step it through warrior two and just feel the warrior you're opening the right hip how does the core feel how do the shoulders feel is there ease in the pose are, are you flowing with strength and ease finding the strength and the simplicity of this pose we can overthink and be very detailed about the pose and get lost in the detail and not feel it and get overwhelmed with that or we can scan about the details let go of the details and see how it sits in your body how this pose sits in your body the poses are within the body they're natural to us reverse it exhale side angle keep opening the hip the rib cage lengthen you can reach over the head and continue lengthening the top side of the body and exhale both hands down bring your back heel up shoulder underneath your knee and lift and chaturanga push up chaturanga push up chaturanga push up step it back good job strong chaturanga up dog chaturanga down dog exhale through the tailbone walk underneath the right shoulder and the left feel the back muscles the back alignment you can move your elbows and arms a little bit to activate the back further bring awareness into your muscles and you activate them feel them tap into them visualize them known as mind body connection you have to bring your mind into it in order to activate it great inhale the right leg up step it through high lunge hands in prayer twist elbow on the outside of the knee inhale coming out of the twist bend the back knee and come back standing onto the left leg kick in front of you and step it forward push back so you're gonna push with the front leg kick and step it forward come back kick and step it forward kick and step it forward last one kick step it forward one more twist release plank chaturanga up dog chaturanga down dog Take the left leg up, step it through, high lunge, hands in prayer, twist, push that back heel straight up, so you're not leaning into the twist, you're allowing the twist to go through the torso, coming up, prepare, bending the back knee slightly so you get that momentum push step it through kick 
two, three, four, five, one more twist. Release down, plank to chaturanga, to upward facing dog, to chaturanga, to downward facing dog. Inhale the right leg up, step it through. High lunge. Pressing the back heel away from you. Exhale the hands on the inside of the right foot. Take the right foot back and forth. Two, three, four, five. Turn your foot in. Stretch the inner thigh on the left side. Lift your right leg up and come into a squat at the front of the mat. Here we're gonna place the hands in the center of the mat and do a little hop over and 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 back into chair. All right, back to the front, planks, chaturanga, up dog, down dog. Take the left leg up, step it through, high lunge. Exhale the hands down, we're gonna take five steps with the left foot. Step it back, pull the belly in, one, two, three, four, Five, turn the foot in, take a little stretch here, stretching the inner thigh, flex the foot. Lift up that left leg and come into chair. Bring your hands in the center or in front of the mat in my case, so I have a little room here and jump over. Be light on your feet. Jump and jump and chair. Good. And exhale in plank. Chaturanga. Inhale in upper dog and downward dog. Inhale the right leg up. Step it through. High lunge. Exhale the hands down and you're gonna do jumping, switching the legs. So one, two, three, four, ending up with the right leg still at the front. Come up, high lunge, lower the knee. One, two, three, four, and jumping the legs. One, two, three, four, four, one, two, three, four. Exhale the hands down and we're gonna bring the feet together midway through the mat, jump or either monkey, uh, sorry, donkey kick or just a handstand jump and jump it back in plank. Jump at the middle, feet at the middle, donkey kick, plank. Jump at the middle, donkey kick, plank. Good. Lower down and lift. Legs and hands off the floor. Back extension. Exhale, down dog. I hope your blood is circulating. Inhale the left leg up. Step it through, high lunge. Exhale down and we're going to switch, jump the legs, one, two, three, four, four knee downs, one, two, three, 
four squeeze four jump switches one two three four one two three four lower down step it back donkey kick plank donkey kick plank you can do one extra and you can come on to all fours round the back inhale look up round the back bring your breath breath back to normal inhale exhale and we're gonna do one vacuum here stomach vacuum if you're not if you don't feel like you're good at them the only thing you can do is keep at it so even not good stomach vacuums work they really really work for toning the abdominal wall so exhale and hollow the belly you want to do one more One more. Tuck your toes under, down dog. Inhale the right leg up. Step it through. Warrior two. Shift into half moon. Right hand on the floor, hips stacking on top of each other. If you can grab your ankle, you can do that. Bend the right knee and come up standing onto the right leg, opening the left leg behind, balancing here, reaching forward and back, finding, finding a way to challenge your balance. And take chair. Bring your hands at the center, and we're gonna do a few hops hop, 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 cartwheel, hop, and here you can bring the right foot in front of the left for a forward bend. Plank, chaturanga, up dog, chaturanga, down dog, take the left leg up, step it through, warrior two. And half moon. Stacking the hips, the shoulders on top of each other. Once the gaze follows, your perspective will shift. Perspective is everything. <laughs> All of a sudden you're in a different pose, in a different place, in a different body. And you can grab your ankle, optional. Bend the left knee and come up to standing and just reach your right leg back and move here forward explore the edge your balance let's close the feet in into hip width apart feet parallel to each other chair hands on the floor and hop oh sorry Sophie Hop with your feet from one side to the other. Silent feet if you can, focus on that. And here we're going to bring 
the opposite foot in front in front of the other if you did right do left face the front of the room and take yogic squat plank let's take the right leg up left arm up pull the belly in change 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 here we're gonna do a pose I've been experimenting in my awakening the core flows so you're gonna round push through the back pull the belly in so it's a rounded plank with a lot of isometric squeezing. So we're gonna pull everything in and squeeze as hard as you can. I've actually been sore for a few days after doing this properly. So it's all up to you. It should feel really hard. You can't speak, you can't <laughs> do anything but do that. If it feels easy or if it feels too much in the shoulders everywhere else, then you're not squeezing the belly, squeeze the belly. So shoulders over the wrists. Press your heels away from you. Round the back slightly and pull everything in. Scooping the belly in. Pulling the belly in towards the midline and squeeze. Release. All right, pigeon for the freedom of the hips. Level the hips. Lengthen the spine, hold here. Inhale, coming up, lift the chest, pop it up like a pigeon. And bring your back leg back and around, bringing that right foot into the inner thigh. Twist towards the extended leg and lower down. Come back up, take the right leg back, left leg forward, level the hips, lengthen the spine, keep the rib cage lifted, lower down, keep the foot flexing if you're a little deeper in the pose. And breathe, breathe into your hips, breathe out of the hips. Again, mind-body connection, whatever you put your mind to and into, it will draw pull energy there, it will awaken the area and the intention will push you in that direction of the intention. So bringing your own healing energy into your body is more powerful than 
any medicine, any herbal, any pharmaceutical, any, any healing, your mind is more powerful than anything. We know that even twins can have, or people that are doing exactly the same thing, can have a completely different outcome. And it is because our minds operate on a different level and sometimes the intensity of our mind may, can be put in a way that it negatively impacts the body. So we have to repattern the mind and learn to connect. Oftentimes we say the spiritual and the physical body, we are a spiritual being in a physical body, but really it is all the same thing, it is all one. The physical body is just an expression of the spiritual. They're all interconnected and they're the same. So sometimes even disease, imbalance, is there to guide us, is there to assist us in healing the soul through healing the body. It works both ways. We like to fragment and separate things and divide and categorize, but it is all the same. It is the hardest concept to grasp that it, it is all one. It is all one. All is one. One is all. It's beyond our <laughs> training and education and way of thinking. So coming up, pop the chest up like a pigeon. Bring the right leg back and around. Forward bend here. Let's bend the right knee and the right foot and bring it on the outside of the left knee. So right knee is up. Make sure you're paying attention. Left, left arm up. So left arm to right knee. Look behind and really lengthen through the crown. Release opposite side. release, lay down, you can round the back here, pull the belly in and slowly lower yourself down with complete control. All right, how about a stomach vacuum here in this position? So, Exhale and hollow the belly with a little bit of a pelvic tilt and a mula bandha, so kegel muscles. One more. And let's bring the knees, lower the knees, right knee to left foot, left knee to right foot a few times. This is for the mobility of the pelvis, the hips. Soles of the feet together and lift the knees halfway and lower them, not all the way, but just Lift them up and down, up and down, and now bring in Mula Bandha and flex as hard as you can the inner thighs. Seemingly an easy exercise, but it requires a lot of, again, that thing we talked, talked about, 
mind-body connection, so it gives you the opportunity to connect to the pelvis. A lot of people are disconnected from that area. It is, even when it's over active, um, which happens in our society, it's in, um, it's in disharmony, it's, it's disconnected still, We're not strongly rooted in root chakra. And they're active and overactive for both signs of the same symptom. The same affliction. All right, so feeling the inner thighs, feeling the, the lower belly, feeling Mulabanda, the pelvic floor, the perineum. A few more. Good job. Oh, time for plow. Bring the legs up and over, shimmy the shoulders. Freedom through the back. Lift the legs up, shoulders sent. slowly lower down and you can rock yourself up to sit it coming into a seated pose open the palms of the hands up you can bring the index and the thumb together and straighten the other fingers gently with, without over extending them just keep them comfortably straight and stay here for a few moments it's a good time to meditate not on the holiday per se but on the word and on the meaning of independence or freedom freedom is a beautiful word sometimes not always used the, the right way in society so really ask yourself what does freedom mean to you where do you feel free within yourself and where do you not feel free where are your obstructions limitations and meditate on that for a few moments feel even in your body where in your body do you feel free it is a very strong feeling it is something that our soul is entitled to we are essentially free beings even uh, when enslaved beings understand their right to be free uh, and that's why we fight for freedom and scan your body see where you feel free feel where there is no freedom even on a physical level just thinking about muscles and joints and also in your heart where do you feel free we all we're all on a path to freedom we all are not completely free so where do you not feel free meditate on that i will leave you with this meditation for as long as you need to you can stay here and observe your own body your own mind be the observer not the doer just be, observe, witness, feel. And once you're done, let me know in the comments below how your meditation went, how the class was for you. I'd love to hear from you. Make sure to share it with your friends and I'll see you soon. Namaste.